This is our 1955 Chris Craft Corsair 45. This will be an interior tour of the boat. I'm Brian Marotti with Waterline Boats. Here's a look at the main salon area looking forward. You can see the, uh, the color scheme in here is very tasteful. Carpeting is green throughout the boat. The layout um, has a uh, galley forward and a dinette, and as you can also see, that area is open to the uh, windows above and to the salon behind it, so there's uh, no sense of being cramped in here. Um, there's lots of room and um, uh, lots of light comes in. The galley is the uh, classic Chris Craft galley with a reach-in, refrigerator, upper and lower, outboard sh storage for uh, dishware and so on. All the cabinetry is authentic and original and looks just great. You see a catalytic propane heater on the wall there and the entrance. Uh, the doors slide open and uh, have a step that hinges to allow you to enter the cabin on both sides. A ladder leads up to the express bridge uh, where the helm is. There's other heaters in here. There's electric heaters uh, throughout the boat. There's a red dot heater driven by engine heat. And uh, the uh, fabric is uh, upholstery is blue. Built-in bookshelves. This is the real deal. This is the Chris Craft classic and this is a rare model, the Corsair. Here's a look at the other uh, door onto the deck and uh, a seat that uh, is opposite the uh, drop leaf table. And another look forward and that's where we're going to go next. So we're in the galley now. We'll take a look around, looking back to the salon. The dinette here on the port side. The engine is accessed uh, from below the steps that you just saw there. This is an authentic original boat. You can see the construction of the wood, the battens, the uh, shelving, built-in shelving and storage. There's an overhead hatch here and on the galley um, has a microwave and a, a toaster convection oven, three burner propane stovetop, the original sink, outboard storage, exposed shelving, and the reach in refrigeration. It's a really big refrigerator unit. The freezer element is um, between these two spaces. There's the stairs to the engine room. We'll be going down there too. And uh, looking back at the salon from the dinette and galley. We'll take a look around. You can see this boat is in a boathouse. It's been boathouse kept. I did an exterior view of the boat, another video you might want to look at. You can see it's a substantial boat house, and guess what? It's also for sale. Check our website for details. There's nothing like a boat house to preserve a classic boat like this one. So now we're going to move forward into the forward cabin. There's a door for privacy, and uh, per the original design, you'll see that there's storage outboard. You're going to see uh, upper and lower single berths. There's a sink in this space, hot and cold pressure water, and beneath that seat is a marine head. Open the hatch and it's right there. There's the upper and lower berths. There's an overhead hatch in this space you'll see in a moment, plus um, port lights for ventilation. The anchor locker is all the way forward there through that door. And there's the hatch. 
take a look at the engine room next. So I open that. Uh, there's the builder's plate there. I open the staircase and here's the engine room. These are the twin 454 engines. I'm not going to go all the way in there with this camera, but it'll give you a look at the engine room. The engines are very clean. You can see the hull outside, so you can access the hull on the outside. Batteries uh, well stored in boxes. And back from the salon, we're going to move into the aft cabin. Again, the same kind of uh, treatment, uh, varnished wood, white uh, painted surfaces, green carpeting, blue upholstery. So this is set up with double berths on port and starboard with a ladder, a um, couple stairs, that leads to the aft cockpit. And the Corsair has uh, large windows, as you can see, so there's a lot of light in this cabin. There's uh, drawers underneath each of the berths, as well as a dresser or chest of drawers there that you can see. And this uh, has a private head compartment, again with the blue and white coloring. Uh, very original authentic, beautiful space in here. There are blinds throughout the boat, um, thin, thin louver blinds. There's a stall shower and it has an electric toilet. Marine heads are kind of hard to photograph but I'll just show you the shower real briefly here. It's a, it's a full standing headroom shower. has a seat in here as well. It's not super huge but it's certainly adequate in terms of space and it is a completely enclosed shower so you're not going to be washing down the rest of the uh, marine head compartment. We're going to go up to the express flying bridge next. This cabin opens into the main salon and up that ladder we'll go up to the express bridge. Now this space is really amazing. All the dials have been renewed. All of the chrome knobs. This is the real deal um, instrumentation here. 1955 in beautiful condition. This is a great space in this uh, Corsair design. I invite you to look at the uh, uh, original advertisement I put on the website. It's a, a windshield with a uh, bimini uh, top and a, an enclosure aft and you can completely enclose this space. The electronics are, are current. The canvas is in great shape. And you can take back the canvas and have yourself a speedboat and everyone up here can sit in the open air. That's the Corsair design. That was the uh, concept behind the Corsair. So there's a white leatherette uh, seating bench here and there's also a bench to starboard and uh, a ladder to lead down to that aft cockpit you saw earlier. This would be a great day boat, cruising boat, live aboard boat. Really uh, pretty remarkable. There's a place to stand there so if you like to stand at the helm when you stand there you have great visibility and comfort as well. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Take a look at our interior video. I'm Brian Marotti, Waterline Boats.